Hey, what's up? Today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to install Greenbone GVM on your Kali Purple instance. And we can use Greenbone to scan our home network for vulnerabilities. Then we're going to run a Metasploitable 2 instance and scan it so we can see what vulnerabilities exist and generate reports from it. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, get into it. If you haven't already, the first thing you want to do is install Kali Purple through your virtual box. And if you haven't done that, I have a video out there to do that. I'll post it in the description. Uh, once you get Kali installed, then you can go ahead and follow this tutorial to get GVM Greenbone installed. I'm going to be following the steps provided through the Kali Purple wiki which I will post the link for that in the description. It's uh, in 00100identify and then GVM. And we're going to follow these steps once we get it installed. Then we're going to start running some scans to see if we can find any vulnerabilities. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is open this terminal here. And once that is up, we're going to go ahead and run a few commands. The first command is going to be sudo apt update and then sudo apt install yes gvm. Alright, let's see one second. Let's run them one at a time. sudo apt update first. And then we're gonna do sudo apt install dash yes gvm. All right, there it goes. All right, so the next command to run will set up GVM. And once GVM set up, they will give you the admin password. Make sure to save that admin password when you get it. So let's go ahead and run this command. And it's going to take some time to set up. So you can go ahead and uh, get some coffee, take a break, and just let it do its thing. And what it's doing when it's setting up a green bone is it's going to bring in a bunch of vulnerability feeds. And this, this feed goes back, uh, way back. And when we get the dashboard up and running, we'll be able to see, see this stuff it brought in. All right, so one thing to note is it did generate the admin password. Make sure you save this information here. So I'm going to copy this. And we're going to save it in our notes. Just so it can be used later when we get to the dashboard. All right, so it looks like the install completed and it generated the password. We can uh, double check that that is correct. Okay, so that looks good. Uh, the next thing you want to do is just run the following command to check the GVM setup to make sure everything's good. If everything's not good, you might have to run it again, create a new Kali instance to do the setup. All right, so it looks like the installation was okay. If there's some issues, you might have to create a new VM, a new Kali Purple VM, and then install, do the setup steps again. 
The next thing we're going to do is we're going to make it available on an external interface. So I'm going to run the following commands. We want to do sudo scd-e s127 so localhost one slash g lib g sad service okay let's just make sure everything looks good here All right, go ahead and press enter, and then we need to reload the daemon. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and start GVM. So sudo GVM, stop it just in case we have anything running, and then GVM dash start. So once this starts running, it's going to open up a browser page for us. And we're going to log in with that admin password that we're given. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and accept that. And then we're going to use the admin. And then the password that we saved from earlier. Oh man, where'd it go? There it is. And when you sign in, it's going to ask if you want to save it. So go ahead and save it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the screen size real quick. So we can. All right, so I've been doing a little messing around with the uh, GVM. And when you initially load up, you sh these two pie charts at the top shouldn't have any information. But they sh when you start scanning stuff, it should start loading up. But this bottom part should have data loaded in. And yeah, I would say just check around. You can see your scan configs. Um, let's see, NVTs, and basically we can see it pulled data back from like 2006 and all that. Um, so most, uh, so if you want to scan your home network, there's a, a few ways to do it. You might want to check your router to see what it's setting as the IP for all the systems connected to your Wi-Fi. But what you can do is once you find out what your um, network configurations are or what your um, home network IPs are, you can just scan them all. So the command that I like to use is nmap. And then my ISP, they like to do it in the 10 not dot not not and 24. So if I do that, I can scan what IPs are connected. This might take a while. But from there what you can do is you can grab one of these IPs and then you can run a scan on it to see if there's any kind of like vulnerabilities on that specific device. And okay so this nmap scan might take a little bit of time and what I'm gonna do is I'm also gonna run a Metasploitable instance and this is just a a Linux instance that is uh, has a lot of vulnerabilities and we can actually use Greenbone GVM to identify what vulnerabilities might exist and that actually can help you like with practicing trying to exploit maybe a web service or so I'm just going to go ahead and start up Metasploitable and the, the password is msf admin password is the same msf admin Okay, and if we want to see what IP address this instance is, connect is using, we can do ifconfig. 
and we can see that the internal address is 10 dot not dot not dot one four five. So I'm going to save that those details on the uh, IP address. And we're going to scan it on Greenbone in a little bit here. The way that I can confirm that the Metasploitable instance is running, and that is the true IP, internal IP address, I can actually go to it. 10.not.not.145. Dot 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 Let's go ahead and open it, and we can see that it is available. There's a PHP MyAdmin instance. There's this TWiki. And we can look at that. So this is pretty vulnerable. And we'll actually see Greenbone will point out some vulnerabilities inside of here. And there's a few other ones that you can play around with if you get uh, Metasploitable 2. But we're going to use Greenbone to scan it and see, see what vulnerabilities exist. Let me try and do just uh, target the Metasploitable 2 instance directly see if that pulls anything up okay so yeah we can see here the metasploitable 2 instance has a lot of different ports open and the more ports open the more windows of access that they might give us to enter into their system uh, so yeah that's good to know let me try and run the end map again Let's see Anyways, while Nmap is trying to do its thing, let's go and run a scan on the Metasploitable instance. So if you go to Scans and then go to Tasks, uh, let's let's do a Task Wizard here, and we can target that Metasploitable instance. So ten dot not dot not dot one four five. Start the scan. So we can see a new scan was requested. If we click in here, we'll see some more information about it. Go into here. We can see it's queued up. So it hasn't even started scanning yet, but once it's finished scanning, we'll see the amount of vulnerabilities it was able to detect. A few other things we can do is we can also create like new tasks. Uh, let me just do like a network. Network demo discovery and this is kind of maybe a little bit similar to uh, nmap but basically we can instead of doing a full and fast we could do like a host discovery or system discovery so if I do a system discovery on this task we can save that task and then let's see here if I can pull it up. Uh, network demo discovery. We can see it hasn't run here. So if I click this play button, it will actually start scanning our network to see what IPs are available. Anyways, uh, once the scan is completed, you can actually go to the scan report and just see information about it. So if we click on this icon right here, we can see that it found like 22 high vulnerabilities, 40 medium and six low ones, and then a bunch of log information. I can uh, sort this, sort it by severity. And we can see there's a a cross-site scripting vulnerability on the T-Wiki. So inside this T-Wiki, there's some sort of cross-site scripting we can do. And there's also other things that have found, like there's default credentials found on the MySQL instance and a few other things. So you could use this as a starting place to kind of like maybe attack that Metasploitable 2 instance, or you can think about like, how could I improve my instance so I don't get these vulnerabilities to show up. Anyways, if we go back to the scans, we can generate reports. So 
So if I go to the, let's see, let me see if I can generate a report here. So I can go here and then I can create this, um, when I go to that specific scan, I can go on this download button and we can make a report uh, that's easy to read through. So I can select PDF, click OK, let it install the report and we can get a pretty cool scan report that gives us a summary of all the vulnerabilities that it found on that instance. So that's pretty nice to have. And yeah, let's take a look here. That's still, let's see this network discovery. Let's see if it found anything. We can look here. Okay, we can see that it found a few different IPs that are connected to our to our network here. There's, seems to be a few of them. And then other cool thing about Greenbone is you can like look at these hosts, see which hosts are related to each other, the different operating systems that we kind of found here. Obviously the Metasploitable has a lot of vulnerabilities. Um, when I scanned this on my normal network, none of the other machines really had any issues. So it just seemed like the Metasploitable 2 instance mostly had issues. Let's see, I can look into this random IP here. See if we found anything on that one. Yeah, we just found like a very low severity here and a lot of just log information. Also, while we're looking through that, we the Nmap scan actually finished, and it actually and there's actually it shows us a bunch of the the IPs connected in this range, and then also the different ports that are open. These are kind of like attack vectors for those ports. So let's look here. This 120, we got a lot of ports open here. And then obviously the Metasploitable instance, there's a lot of ports open. So yeah. Anyways, that is the uh, demo on setting up Greenbone GVM with your Kali Purple virtual machine. Uh, it's pretty good. You can use it to just scan your home network and see if there's any vulnerabilities that exist and if you should update some of your systems to avoid this kind of inf these kind of issues and you can also just use it to like for practice if you want to get metasploitable 2 running you can use that to see what kind of vulnerabilities exist in the metasploitable 2 anyways if you like this video please like and subscribe and uh, leave a comment on another video you'd like me to look into and yeah have a good day